All right, folks, it's time to take a tour of the home theater room. As you can tell, there's not a whole lot of action happening in here right now. But sorry for my voice. I've had a fever of 102 for three days, been throwing up. So my entire Christmas has been spent in this room trying to get better. That's a wall of nothing, kind of like the rest of what's going on right now. I'll explain that shortly. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, I've got the whole wiring, everything's built in here on a dimmer. So once the lights get finished, uh, it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, kind of a neat color scheme. It's tough to see in this video, but it all makes sense once the room's all done. And the screen is, uh, that's what sells this room. It's pretty cool. It's hard to fit it all in on one uh, one video. That screen's uh, 106 inches on the wall, uh, side to side, it's pretty huge. And I gotta fix up the wall a little bit because uh, it took a bit of a beating when, when I was pulling off the old equipment. But the wiring in this place is insane. It took a couple hours and it cost, well, I don't even wanna tell you how much it cost, but it's a ton of money. As you can tell, there's some wiring and some neat stuff going down here, some stuff hanging from the air too. Uh, yeah, everything's running off of HDMI 3D cables in the whole room. There's full 3D everywhere. Again, like I said, wiring and conduit everywhere. Uh, the power that's running in this room is absolutely amazing. Running 2,600 watts right now. Just to give you a small view, uh, one of the subs. The subs in this room are all 350 watts self-powered. So that's a ton of bass in here. Uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, wire, everything's wireless in the room now, 7.1 surround sound in the room, 7.1 surround sound in headphones everywhere, receivers, uh, Bell HD 3D uh, receivers, Apple TV, there's far too many remotes happening, and the wiring, like I said, is uh, it's beyond brutal, and it's everywhere in the entire room. Right now, there's only one light in here, that's again going to get fixed. And i got to fix something behind the screen. You might be able to see it. I'll kind of point it out. There's actually a plug-in from where the other TV was. So I need to rip this whole screen down. I'm going to have to get somebody to give me a hand because it weighs a ton. Get that plug pulled out. Fix that up. Repaint the wall. Fix up the bottom of the wall and stuff like that. But getting back to the projector, the greatest projector that money can buy, the Panasonic AU7000, uh, which should be sitting right there. However... As you can tell, it's not. It was probably the greatest one-minute experience of my life, uh, turning it on and watching it until we realized that part one was blown. So I'm not sure how it's possible that I could buy the only one in Winnipeg that does not work. Well, it worked for a minute, and it looked awesome. But it doesn't work, and it went back to get repaired. So I'm hope hopefully in a week or two I should get that back, get it reinstalled, I'm about as impressed with that as you are, but there's more stuff going up on the wall soon, but there's just not enough time to wire it all in, but it's starting to look pretty cool in here, and this will look really good once the proper shelves are in and it's all covered up and stuff, but this just gives you an idea of kind of where things are at right now. I hope you dig it, and I'll post another video once I get this room done. These speakers are going to all be off the floor and hanging, uh, and the ceiling will be done, and the lighting will be in, but it's going to look pretty cool. I gutted this whole thing over three days, and built the whole room over three days. So I hope you dig it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm sad.